What's going on everyone? It's me, the goatee man, Alex the Rambler, and today you join me on Hearts of Iron 4. I'm going to be playing through the most subscribed mod on the workshop. I don't know if it's because Kaiserite got re-uploaded at one point that it's no longer the most subscribed, but currently the Millennium Dawn mod is the most subscribed mod on the workshop. There we go, almost 600,000 downloads and uh, they had a merged version of the Millennium Dawn, including Millennium Dawn Classic, the modern day mod. I don't know what this one is, or I don't know what that one is either. <laughs> so there's, it's, 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 let's just give it, yeah, it's, yeah. And I've made so many videos on Hearts of Iron before that I can't remember if I've already done the video that I'm about to do. But before we get onto that, here's a few words from today's sponsor. Honey! Honey is a completely free browser extension that allows you to save money when shopping online. It scours the internet to find various codes and applies them directly to your cart once you've installed the browser extension. I've been using Honey for the past couple of years actually, so when they sponsored a video a few months ago and then they asked if they wanted to sponsor another video, I was like, heck yeah! Alright, so let's say I wanted to relive my youth and start opening Pokemon cards again, which I, I've been very tempted to recently. <laughs> and I decided to see if Honey will work on Chaos cards. So let's try and apply a few coupons. So we managed to save four quid. And that is a saving just from taking five seconds to install the browser. Four pounds may not seem like a lot, but hey, it's four quid. You're going to be able to spend on, I don't know, a latte? Honey currently has over 17 million members and has saved users over $2 billion since its inception. So in order to join Honey, just click on my personal link in the description, click Add to Chrome, then Add to Chrome once again, Add Extension, and that's it. Bim bam boom, Honey is now installed and you can start saving. If you do choose to install Honey, you'll be doing uh, me a solid uh, as I get to continue working with great sponsors, and sponsors such as Honey really do help keep the channel going and you get to save, save, save yourself some money so that's joinhoney.com slash alex the rambler uh, to install honey now so i'm going to be playing the 2000 start date today and these are all of the quite 20 years ago it does feel like a very long time doesn't it but this was the uh this was the world in the year 2000 wait no that's 3000 that song never mind oh and just before we begin please do Comment, like, and subscribe. If we could get to 5,000 likes for, 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 for this video, that'd be fan dabby dozy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's probably going to play as Germany. No, I'm going to play as Italy and just see what a rollicking good time we can have. And <laughs> I'm going to do something never seen before restoring the Roman Empire in the year 2000. It probably won't happen. I'll probably mess this up completely. Uh, but, you know, we'll give it a go. Oh. They've just made the icon smaller. Why? <laughs> What's the point? Sorry, I know that's being really finickety, but... Why? Sorry, uh, clearly that's a feature I'm not on board with. Don't make things smaller. <laughs> oh, hold, hold the phone. There's a question mark. Oh, well, there we go. Thank you. It's a nice little addition. Okay, this all looks a lot cleaner than what I remember. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this does look. This does overall look tidier than I remember it. I, I played this probably um, a year and a half ago, and and I I just I just got a bit like, oh, I don't know what to do here. Just got a bit overwhelmed with things, you know. Ah, and here we have the European Union. We're in the state of a European Union, and I could do a Euro skepticism campaign. Oh my giddly goo! How do I just leave? <laughs> leave. Italy has National Focus Article 50 completed. Damn. Can I leave NATO? Not yet. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, how much stuff is in this now? And then there's the economy, which is just... Um, if I just keep refreshing, will I just get more money? Is that how it works? Can I just print more money? Then that makes everything look absolutely fine. So despite this being one of like, the largest mods on the workshop, I, I don't re I've never really gotten on with it too too much. Uh, I've just, I've just never, I don't know, just never really kind of, mm, really enjoyed it. But we'll see if that changes today. Well, there's so many things you need to build too. If I just build one of everything, then I won't be lacking anything, right? 
Self-propelled artillery. Where are thou? Do we need APCs? Engineer tank. All right. Self-propelled artillery. Why can't I find it? Man pads. Who ordered the man pads? Ah, oh, found it. I found it. Good to go. Probably should should get some resources though. Ooh, lacking oil, I guess. Oh, do you know what? Let's let's trade from Canada. Give me some oil, please. Oh, we have 1,757 billion debt. We have to pay 4.2% interest rate. Oh, giddly goo. All right, so how does one get a balanced budget? I would like to change my corruption level, please. Um, I will increase my tax rate to 25%. That's still pretty reasonable, a 25% tax rate. Still can't really do much about my uh, about my money here. What's, what's, what's Mr. Massimo up to? Not much. And um, what does my army consist of? Not much. <laughs> oh, wow. My treasury is... Oh! Whoops. Can I do any investments? If I invest and we don't have any kind of stock market crash, then we'll be fine. Can you get to the point where you just say to yourself, Nah, I'm not paying the debt. Because <laughs> that's going to keep going up the entire game. Why don't you let me know your thoughts about this mod in the, in the comments? Whoa! EU policies, I guess we go. <laughs> try and try and get, try and leave, please. Am I going to run my nation into the ground before I can actually do anything? <laughs> that might happen. Uh, no, thank you. Let's do Euro skepticism campaign. I just, <laughs> just, I, I need to leave. All right, Putin is in power. We've got the uh, the old blair administration over there got the us oh ho, ho, ho. well hello there bill clinton this guy just looks so done <laughs> jack chirac <laughs> get me out of here so i can change various things about like adding in some manufactories etc etc we have a volunteer service at the moment i could change this to a partial draft got a mixed economy consumption okay export right i'll keep it on mixed we have unrestrained corruption at the moment. Let's let's change that to systematic corruption. Let's reduce that just a smidge. Increase taxes once again. I will ruin Italy, I think. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like you can do too much at the moment, really, can you? Uh, you're constrained by the EU. Can't do anything. Wait, what? Removes 40 billion from our treasury. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, just keep the, keep bringing in the loans. Oh, I've made a bit of a mistake here. I thought that I had to wait to do that, but I can just do the democratic way uh, and then go on our own and then get rid of all of the... U yes, okay. Oh, I'm a bit of a plonker. I thought I had to do one or the other, but it's not limited. I'm also hard at work at reducing all of my uh, expenditures. <laughs> so if I can try and get my, my debt down... I'm basically uh, crippling my nation here. Um, I'm increasing taxes. <laughs> I'm lowering welfare. We're we're going for full austerity. Basic universal health care. Maybe just free emergency treatment. Oh my god. Uh, so, ooh, so we're going down from 0 0.45. Boom. As you can see, my expenditures are almost with my... <laughs> we gain from, uh, from the income. Wow. We've done the democratic way, then we go on our own. The European Union is destined to fail. Mm. Basic pensions. Just need to try and increase my taxes at some point. <laughs> Again. <laughs> to 38%. Pay more taxes for, for, for less <laughs> in return. Ooh, <laughs> gotta, gotta fix the national debt though. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what's that? A 39% tax rate, you know it. I've gone from really quite a reasonable tax rate to this one. Oh. But there's still basic pensions for the elderly and the disabled. And free emergency treatment, so... Boom, up to 40% tax rate. Okay, we'll do the old parties. Change popularity and non-alignment. Change popularity of Western. Alright. And I think we're having an election soon. But that's, that's, that's pretty good. I think we've almost got rid of most of our expenses. <sniffs> Noish. The popularity of the current government is 10%. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs>
But so far, there's not really anything else going on in the... Oh, I should have... Maybe I should have had the... The Chaos mod on. I don't think it's been updated for two years, so it might not be compatible anymore. Oh my god, we've got Silvio Berlusconi in now. Woo! Restore trust in the system, I guess. 140 days. Well, there are a couple of um, internal kerfuffles going on in the world, but... I'm not getting involved. Instead, I'm just bringing down my debt. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Maybe I should have played as a different nation, one that isn't constrained by the EU. If there was an option to just disable the EU that works, that'd be grand. But at the moment, I'm currently waging a kerfuffle with the Matthew, and it, that seems to have helped my economy quite a lot. Crumb diddly ums, just look at this. <laughs> and that's reducing my ability to, uh, well, it's, it's increasing my ability to reduce my debt. My Euro skepticism is now up to 23%. Let it burn, let it burn. I want chaos, please. It's a leave. Maybe I'll get that referendum then. Nice. Oh wow, yeah. The Mafia curtail, but then we've also got sabotage industry, sabotage the military. <laughs> oh, I could leave NATO. Actually, could I just justify on someone? All of these rules and regulations. Let me burn the place. Okay, let's hold the referendum today. Should I leave? Oh. Oh, okay. We did get the result. Nice. So I added 20% Euro skepticism, so now I'm up to 45%. Ah, oh, feck. Let me leave! Alright, a 50% tax rate. Looking good. I'm now on 52% Euro skepticism. Article 50. Boom. Boom. Oh, finally. Oh, I just researched 3G. Wow, I'm getting rather uh, technologically advanced. Oh, Silvio Berlusconi is definitely more popular than his predecessor. Oh, and I've ended organised crime. Wow. The historic day for Italy. Crumbs. I did it. Nobody could have seen that coming, really. Get out of here, UK. What the... Frickin' British tourists. I'm going to change this to medium military spending. Actually. How much would huge? I can afford it. Bam. <laughs> Let's see how bad a no-deal exit can go. Uh, emergency measures. Okay. That's pretty bad stability. YOLO. Oh. Economic boom! <laughs> Construction speed plus 100%. Wow. Not that that's really doing too much at the moment. I'm. All of my tax rates have rather increased my ability to construct things. Okay, I'm slowly getting more into the mod. You just have to be very patient. Hey, we're under 2,000 billion debt now. Nice. Resolve unemployment issue. It's as easy as clicking a focus. Aha! Leave! Bam! Italy has triggered Article 50, and we'll leave the European... Two years! So, I know I'm, I've am i been uh, complaining a lot, and if you got to this point in the video, and you are one of the modders, uh, I apologise. <laughs> I know you're uh, making a very uh, kind of realistic mod, in a way, with all of these procedures and processes. Um... And maybe I've just missed a quick way of leaving. Maybe there's maybe there's the options menu where I where I could have changed stuff to start off with. But as a basic experience, it really limits what you can do as any EU nation. Like it's just I don't know if that's just the Italy tree. Maybe it's not the case with everything else. Please fix it so you can at least like have a civil war or something to like get out of the European Union immediately so you can just do these old ways. Oh, I'm missing man pads. Come on. How many man pads do you want? Seriously. 17% world tension? Where? Oh, just look. Okay. Okay, we'll abandon the West. Boom. Goodbye. Bam. Italy leaves the European Union. Okay, then I'm, I'm actually going to cancel the abandon the West focus. And instead go the old ways. Democracy brought corruption and a decline to power in Italy. Hmm. But I've already done the... I've already done that though, haven't I? Oh, oh, it's another 140 day focus. I really wish Silvio would stop smiling at me. That was it, no fanfare, just a tiny event after I spent five, no, 2005, no, four or five years, half a decade just trying to leave the feckin' thing. Medium corruption. 
modest corruption slight corruption here we go negligible corruption haha -ha. you know what i was thinking of going yeah, yeah. Uh, towards monarchy let's see oh my god is this it the new roman senate oh oh yes 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 yes, yes. Italy's true golden age was back when the Roman Empire. Oh, now I could do a civil war, but not the. Oh, for... Come on. Please. Ah, oh, there we go. So we're now led by Vittorio Emmanuel IV. The Roman Empire is back. It sounds like a writing prompt, but it is reality. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, finally. Oh. Can save it there. Game's done. Goodbye. No, let's actually do divide et impera. Divide und rule. I could do the Federation of the Romans and invite people in, but eh. NATO has abandoned us. Good. The Roman Empire leaves NATO. I'm down to 500 billion in debt now. It's not bad, is it? Allow democracy and elections in the. Hmm. No. Claim parts of. Oh, it takes 120 days. Are you. Oh wait, oh no, that's I've, I've got the claim. I'm an empire, I should just be able to just attack people at will. Oh, I have war goals, finally. Could I take out... In theory, they won't have the ability to stop me. Just in case something goes wrong here, I'm just going to save it. Potential enemies, none. Yeah, we can just... A bit of a war. Public war weariness already. Are you... Oh yeah, we're winning pretty easily. Pay off some debt at the same time too, you know? Now we're getting all the gold. <laughs> I've had a successful war. <sighs> yes. Okay, Slovenia. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Kazakhstan wants to send me some help. Thanks. It's nice of them. Uh, I'm just going to try and mop up the Balkans, I think. No one's really stopping me at the moment, which is nice. And I almost have enough... I've almost paid off my debt. In fact, I have. Ah! The combat is uh, something left. I don't know. Everything feels very slow and sluggish. Oh, maybe with aerial superiority. That might have been where I was going wrong. Fix the debt. I can't uh, go into Bosnia, though, because France are guaranteeing them. Okay, lower taxes for everyone now. Now, my potential enemy is France. Um, I, also, I, th this video will be about to end. Uh, because I, I I don't think I would be able to defeat France um, very easily. Uh, and you also run the risk of them calling in all their allies, I think? I'm not sure. Or maybe in an unlikely scenario, France doesn't call in any of its allies and I actually managed to defeat them. That would be a turn up for the books, eh? <laughs> so, we take all of Bosnia. France starts to push me. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, I... If I wanted to, I could probably defeat France. Uh, it's just after seven years, I've, I'm just feeling a bit done with the with the playthrough. That sounds really pessimistic. In terms of effort, this is an incredibly well done mod. It's just boring. I'm not even that excited about being the Roman Empire anymore. So I think that's where I will probably leave this video. Uh, I wanted to kind of revisit mods I haven't played for quite some time and and uh, like it, it, there's a ton of detail in this uh but I think like it's got a lot of work for it to be a fun experience if that makes sense I might come back to it at some point but right now it's not the experience that I that I like that's about it really again that's not to uh say that the modders have done a bad job I think I have the utmost respect for for modders and, and the stuff that they do it, this just this mod just isn't for me I don't think uh, unfortunately. So, that's me saying goodbye for now. Thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this video, and I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevec, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tyler Colby, Tad House, Colby Was Taken, Matt Zuv, Vashk, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Howls, Goozy Dibs, Yaboy, yeah Da Falcon, Ryan Cock, Jake Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Ram supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!